Hi everyone and welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. Although this lesson is a little bit different than what we usually do. Normally we focus on Second Life and 3D based stuff. But this one we're going to be work this time we are going to be working with the 3DS. Now I've loved my 3DS, I'm on my 3DS. I can't live without my 3DS. In fact, when my original red 3DS broke, I was inconsolable for days until <laughs> until a new one came. So I need to say, I love my 3DS. So um, before Nintendo began the patch, I used a program called USB Helper, which is supposed to be used for uh, downloading Wii U games, but at the time, it also allowed you to download uh, 3DS games. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Mic slipping. <laughs> okay, so um, it lets you download your, um, Wii U games, and it also lets you download uh, 3DS games just like it uh, Free Shop used to do. But then Nintendo came and then came and patched it and we weren't able to download 3DS games anymore. But we still had access to our 3DS games via this you uh, this program. But recently, um, you see the program got shut down and somebody came and fixed it. So we were like, yay, everything's back to normal. We can do what we want. And again, we still had access to our 3D uh, 3DS stuff. So now recently, um, another tragedy struck and the title sites for um, the 3DS, which lets you see all the stuff, uh, shut down because I guess the person thought, well, since you can't download from Nintendo anymore, nobody needs the keys. So problem with them removing the keys is that now that they removed it, it doesn't show up here in USB uh, helper anymore. So I spent days trying to talk to the staff, trying to talk to people, and they just kept saying, you can't download from it before. Wink. You can't download it. Wink. And I'm like, you don't, I don't need to download. I already have the games downloaded. I just want to view all my games because I download the entire library. I would like to access that data. And they, you know, couldn't help me. Or just didn't feel like it because they already kept winking at me like, you can't because there's no keys. Wink. And, you know, angry black lady. Well, I want my games. <laughs> so, anyway. That's how we came to the solution. Because we went to GBA Temp. And the guys that helped us out. And I'm going to show you how it's done. So, sorry if you sat through that extremely long intro explaining what's going on. But, now you know what's going on. So, um, before we get into what you have to do. You actually have to make a few preparations. Just to make sure that you can see everything on my screen like this so I'm gonna close this out and we're gonna open up some random folder that I have here yeah it's about right um so I'll use Windows 7 um, I, I guess it works on Windows 10 uh, this program really works for Windows I'm not sure if there's a Mac version out or anything but I only know it for Windows so so I can't help you if you had a Mac um, so what you want to do is you want to press F10 and this is going to bring up Oh, sorry, I'm just diving in there, just talking to you casually, didn't like, do it! Okay, so, you ready? Here goes our tutorial. Start in... Oh, I thought it was going to be at four minutes, but starting now. So, here's what we need to, do, need to do to start preparing. We need to make sure that we have access, um, not access, we need to make sure that we have the ability to see the file extension for the programs that we are using. And this is the file extension right here. You know how it says uh, .exe, .ixo. Um, by default, sometimes it turned off on some computers. Um, so I'm going to show you how to turn it back on. And then once we get that turned on, we can, you know, start working. Because you'll need to have access to those file endings. So what we want to do is you want to go into any regular folder. And you can right click. I think it's is it properties. No, no. I'm just going to stop being fancy and do what I know. All right, so we're here in a folder, and you're going to press F10, and this is going to bring down the hidden options that used to be on folders back in the day. And you're going to go to tools, and then you're going to do folder options, and then folder options are going to pop up. So what you want to do next is go to the view tab and scroll down until you see display 
uh, it says hidden files and folders. You want to check this button, uh, button, I was going to say box. <laughs> you going to check this box uh, that says show hidden files, folders, and drives. So you want to do that. You need to have that anyway. And then the next one, uh, I had display icons. Where's my thing? Drives, drives, sharing wizard, pop up, show letter thingies. Ah, oh, here we go. And hide extensions for known file types. This box will be checked because uh, I think you don't need to see that, but you need to. So uncheck that box. That makes them all visible. So once that's checked, you're just going to hit apply and then hit OK. And now you should be good. So our next step that we need to do is to go to the folder that contains our downloaded 3DS games. Um, I save mine to my, um, what do you call it, my hard drive. So for me it's just games. Uh, for you the games and then um, data underscore 3DS. Then they show you all the regions for games you downloaded stuff for. I only download things for the US. So you just click that. Uh, then eShop is your actual games, DLCs, updates, uh, whatever, but I just need the eShop for this example. And here are all the games that you downloaded. Mine is backwards for some reason, and that's driving me bananas, so I'm going to put this to name to start. So we will have it in proper alphabetical order. Okay, so now we have it here in our alphabetical order. We're going to find a game that we can, you know, do the experiment on. Something that, if it breaks, is not a big deal. So... Kid Icarus. <laughs> so we have Kid Icarus, and when you open it, it's like app app tick TMT, and no CIA, you know CIA or anything that we're used to seeing, which is what threw me in for a loop. So what we need to do in this folder is to convert these files into something usable that we can put onto our 3DS. So how do we do that? First, we can define that program called make cnd.cia.exe. And we're just going to, you're going to use this a lot. So I just copy it instead of just dragging in there. So copy and then paste it into the folder. And then we need to make a change to the folder. So go back and we're going to rename it. I like to copy. <laughs> oh! Sorry, my husband's playing Metal Gear fire and you just stole a tank with a guy inside of it and I'm trying my hardest not to laugh horribly at this we didn't even make professional here at the mighty ginkgo <laughs> anyway so um so let's stop 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 I'm trying to work all right so what you're gonna do is you want to right click on the folder's name and I like to rename and I hit cop control C just to copy it and then paste it over here in our plain old notepad then we need to go back into the, the go to the folder and right click and hit rename. And we want to erase the name and these brackets. Just get rid of that. So that is just the number. So you're going to highlight the number and then you're going to press control C or just copy and let that be that. If you feel like you lost your game, you could just right click and then push sort by uh, date modified and it should pop up to the top. So now we get to do cool stuff to make you feel all cool and hackery. I mean, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. We need to create a bet file, and this will run the make C, uh, the CIA file. So what we need to do is create a new file new, and then we're just going to put a new text document here, and it's going to call it code because why not? And we're going to paste in a little bit of coding to make the program run. So I'm going to go back into one that I did right. I'll have it down in the description or so, so you can just copy and paste it. So, there we go. Back into here. Alright, so we had a code and we're just going to paste it back in here. So this is uh, the code line, make CIA convert uh, the f game in this folder into everything in this folder into a CIA pretty much packet and this dot CIA is going to be the name of it when it exports so file location the uh, folder name and then what we want it to be named so um, copy the number 
copy this. And it's going to be called Kid Icarus. I'm not sure about the TM, but I'm sure it can't hurt it. And if it does, we just remove it, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so once it's done, you get all saved. You just hit save. Now you can use that notepad plus plus, but if you don't feel like downloading, just plain old notepad will do. So we're going to close that. And then we're going to go here and rename this to from dot from code.txt to code.bat and then hit yes now before you get click happy don't click it yet we need to still make a few more adjustments we need to take these two app folders there's uh, two app files let me see if I can zoom in a little more so you can see better there we go so we're going to take these two app files and we're going to remove the dot app at the end so it's a nothing file and then we'll do the same thing with this one. And like that. And then when it comes to title.tmd, we're going to change that too. And then just make it tmd. And then when it comes to title.tick, we're going to just make that, uh, I think it's c-e-t-k. And then hit that. So once it goes, we're going to run the code. Hmm. I always get an error about the title versions don't match and stuff like that. But whenever, like, when I first did it, it worked fine. I get this error. It says the stuff generated correct successfully. And then I upload it on my 3DS and it worked fine. So I guess... And I looked at it, looked it up, and everybody said, don't worry about it. So I'm not going to worry about it. And you shouldn't either. So once it's done, we're just going to hit any key to continue. And now we have our CIA. What is the character? In so I guess not a good thing. Pit game. <laughs> that way I know it's pits. All right. So now all we have to do is transfer it to our 3DS. And... Um, Dang, what's it called? Transfer to a 3DS and install it with FBI. I don't know if you guys know how to do that. I'm not sure how to screen share and not crash this. Hmm. Well, first things first. Let's send it on over to my 3DS. That way you can see at least how to put it on there. Alright, so I'm going to go into my SD card manager because I don't feel like pulling this card out. Any second, there we go. And I like to put it in my CIA folder, but you can put it in anything else you want. So, where did the folder go? Oh, sorry. I, got... okay. I lost the folder. Let's see if that was it. Pit game. Yeah. Yay. All right. So we take our CIA. And we just put it in there. In our CIA folder. Wait for it to transfer. And then I'm going to pause it and then see if I can screen share it without crashing it and ruining this whole video. Mm. I guess that would be a lot faster. So I guess if you already know how to do the installation from there, you can go from there. But um, we'll wait and see. Hang on. Oh, hey look. It, it went without crashing. Alright, so um, once it's in here, we're going to go to FBI. Oh, I'm sitting here waiting for it to go. I forgot FBI doesn't have a fancy screen. I'm like, 
All right, um, then CIA's uh, pick game and install and delete afterwards. Save up on that memory. Wait for it to install. <sighs> I'm not sure if this program requires you to have Python running or not. I don't know. I got a lot of Blender, so it's not like I would. Oh, it done. So, I'll do that. Play Icarus before. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's it for you. See, it works. Everything's fine. Oh. All right. So, as you see, that's how you get your 3DS games, but. It does take a little elbow grease to, to do it, but you know, once you get used to doing it, it's really easy to do. <laughs> I mean, it's not as simple as before, just pressing the button and hey, pack the uh, CIA for that. But, you know, at least you got access to all the files you downloaded and you just don't feel like you lost them all. And you didn't delete, almost delete the entire folder saying, I'll just find something else. <laughs> anyway, hope this video helped you. And if not, don't ask me questions, because I don't know. Go to GBA Tim. They have the experts there. <laughs> so, yeah, this has been Zero. Have fun gaming. Bye.